The series all knotted up at one as they head to the Warriors home court at the Chase Center. Game three tonight right here on ESPN. The Dubs last 10 seasons have been nothing short of spectacular under the big three. Three NBA titles, five straight finals appearances, a plethora of all-star and all NBA selections, and of course, back-to-back -back NBA MVPs from the three-point three king, Steph Curry. So, Perk, I want to ask you this. Should the Warriors break up the big three if they don't win it all this season? Hell yeah. Yes, they should. And, and, and let me tell you why, okay? It's because fix your body language. Look, you see how emotionally he's attached to the Warriors, Molly? Every time you get ready to say something about the Warriors and you say something, he don't even know what, why I'm about to say it. Look, yeah. if I'm the Golden State Warriors and I'm looking at a young star on the rise in Jordan Poole, and I'm looking at Klay Thompson right now, and this is no knock on Klay Thompson, but at some point in time, you're going to have to let Jordan Poole be the best version of him. And I'm not saying that Klay Thompson is a guy that game is – he can never get back to the Klay Thompson we seen before the injury because we've seen glimpses of that. But at, what I'm saying is, is that at some point you have to move forward and start to build. And you don't want anything to get in the way of the growth of Jordan Poole because I believe that Jordan Poole is going to be special. And so with that being said, it's only one basketball. And so I'm looking at it like this. At some point, every, every good thing has to come to an end. And so if that means having to break up the big three that's in Golden State and that means having to move on from Klay Thompson and that's not a knock on Klay Thompson because he could end up with the New York Knicks and Steve and Stephen A. Smith wouldn't have a problem with it at all at just all. to not get in the way of Jordan Poole, then I think the Warriors should really consider that. I think you're insane. There ain't no way in hell I'm breaking up these brothers right here. Now, Call me in two years, and that's a different discussion. Last time I checked, Jordan Poole's under that rookie wage scale salary. You know, you got this year, you get paid next year, then there's a team option on them the year after that. So I got his rights. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't letting I that brother go because I think Jordan Poole is a star blossoming before our eyes right now. Okay, so let me be very, very clear. Now, there's a level of consistency that he has to bring because there's a couple of playoff games he tailed off, all right? And Klay Thompson, we knew before he got injured, there was a level of consistency that he put forth for the most part, all right? I'm looking at today's game in all seriousness, Kendrick Perkins, all joking aside. I'm looking at today's game and the fact that everybody is starving because of the way the game has evolved to, you know, to echo your sentiments, all right? Everybody's looking for a shooter. The Warriors got three of them. The Warriors got three of them. Let's understand something. I picked the Warriors to win the chip this year, and I'm not jumping off the bandwagon, but I really picked them in all seriousness just to remind the audience because I thought James Wiseman would be back. That was an additional big body that could give you 15 to 20 minutes and six fouls, and I thought that was all they needed because of Kevin Looney would need some help, and so would Draymond on their front court defensively. But what I'm saying to you is that from an offensive standpoint, when you look at their personnel, and I look at a Kaminga, and I look at a, a, a Wiseman, and I look at a Pool, I'm not changing a damn thing. If I'm the Golden State Warriors, they got the highest payroll. Joe Lacob, Pete Goober, and those boys, they got money. Continue to keep it that way. I don't give a damn about luxury taxes. You can afford it. You out there in this Silicon Valley, you can afford it. Look, man. I ain't letting go of nobody. I ain't moving Clay. I ain't moving Poole. I damn sure ain't moving Steph, obviously. I'm keeping those three brothers together come hell or high water. I'm not moving them. I'm not moving because everybody, everybody wants what I have. If I'm the warrior, everybody. Yeah, yeah but, but Stephen A., listen. It comes a point, man, where you have to move on. And if you have a young star that you have the urge to hand over the keys to him, then you got to let him drive the vehicle. And so what I'm saying is, again, this is not a knock on Klay Thompson. All I'm saying is, wait till it's time for negotiation. And let me ask you this. Will Klay Thompson 
consider taking less money if somebody is willing to give him a big bag. Because I strongly believe that on another team, Clay Thompson still could be a second option to another superstar to hold help on. them actually compete and win for a title. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick, real quick, let me oh, make this. Ahead, ahead, because if Jordan Poole keep rising the way that he's rising right now and flourishing and, and evolving, then guess what's going to happen? All of a sudden, it's going to become Steph and Jordan Poole. And now all of a sudden, Clay is going to become the third option when he should be on well, another team being the second option. Let me blow you away with this. Let me tell you how I feel about Clay. And this is Clay at less than 100%. Because we all know he ain't 100% yet. He'll be better next year than he is now. We both know that, right? He's 33. What is it? 33 years old? I think he's 32 years old, okay? Here's the deal. Let me throw this at you. To show you how much I feel about Clay Thompson. The Warriors. I believe, I believe. If I believe Klay Thompson is worth Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook, I think if LeBron had Klay Thompson, Lakers would be in the postseason without the two of them. Just him and Klay. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.